Alright, so the only way to get a landed property in today's landed market that is below $2 million is to go for 99 years leasehold cluster. Today we're in D19 Q Drive area and uh, if you're looking for space and size, this cluster right behind me is beautiful because this is one of the seven landed property that's of a distinct nature with this black and white kind of design. So uh, of course a lot of landed properties, they have this uh, red roofing kind of design with the triangular version over the car porch and of course the attic. You get this very nice facade, black and white version throughout your entire windows facing outwards. And of course, out of these seven with a black and white design, two of them are corner terraces, five of them are inter terraces. And today, Property Brass is bringing you to one of the inter terraces with this very unique design right here. So, let's go. Q Drive is a landed enclave that's located within the D16 area and this is a cluster that is right behind Tanam Air MRT station. So if you were to walk to MRT station, that would take you probably at about 18 minutes walk. If you drive, this cluster right here is very close to the main Bedok South Road. So that brings you straight on to Tanam Air MRT station. And of course, there are buses right out there as well. Now this uh, property is pretty unique. Out of the seven, only five of them are inter terraces. And this is one of the inter terraces, three story in nature without this beam right at your car porch zone. So all the rest of the properties right here, they have this center beam, but this is the one very uniquely without that. And uh, that gives you the advantage if you want to park in one smaller car right here. So this gives you the luxury for two cars without parking right outside on the street itself. So something very interesting is that this has been maintained so well by the current owners, even the artificial turf outside the house is done nicely over here with this small little garden here. And of course, if you don't have two cars, you only need one car porch space, this space has already been done for you with artificial turf, outdoor sitting zone right at your car porch zone. So you can have a little bit of mini garden space this entire enclave is a mixture of freehold and of course 99 years property. And of course you are wondering, hey, should I buy a 99 years landed property? Why shouldn't I go all the way to get a freehold landed property? Now, of course, if you are looking for the inter terraces right here, most of the inter terraces, freehold in nature, along the Q Estate and along Limau Gardens Estate, they are already going at about $3 million range. Based on land size, there is about 1006 or maybe 1800 square feet for the land plot itself. So three is basically the starting price range for the freehold lender. Of course, if you go for the brand new ones, they are already at about 3.8 closing up to $4 million for the brand new inter terraces that are freehold in nature. So we'll talk more about the price differential and of course why a 99s landed property might be a suitable range in your radar. So let's have a look at the house first. Alright, so this is a 1735 square feet land. Now the total build up is 3,400 square feet. So again, when we look at landed properties, usually buyers for landed properties, they compare based on land size and land per square foot. Now the asking price is $1.98 million. So if I were to look at the land PSF, this is asking at about 1141 per square foot. So of course, if you're somebody with a 1.8 to say a $2 million budget for your next new home, and you're looking for at least a four to five bedroom kind of property for your family, you will notice that if you're looking for the District 16 zone, to have a four to five bedroom right now, that will land you in a strata built-in area of say about 1,003 plus square feet uh, if it's a newer development all the way to probably about 1,006, 1,007 square feet for 4 to 5 beta. And of course, in terms of per square foot, that will mean that you're paying probably at between 1,003 plus all the way to 1,006 plus per square foot. Now, if you go for the new launches, the 4 betas in nature right now, popular sizes are all around 1,003 to 1,004 square feet in nature. And of course, that's understandable because government land sales, land costs are increasing in Singapore. New launches, of course, you get a benefit that it's a fresh 99 years leasehold. You get a newness effect. But uh, I think if you are looking for size, this property right here is asking for $1.98 million based on the built-up area estimated to be at about 3,000 square feet with five bedrooms, four bathrooms right here. So if you take the $1.98 million against the 3,400 square feet of built-up area, that will land you probably at about $582 per square foot with a balance ease of 73 years to go for the 99 years lender. And if we look at the entire landscape right here, if you want to go towards the freehold landed property and you don't want to spend close to three or maybe $3.8 million, let's just have a look at some of the numbers right now. So to buy something at about $3 million for entry 
freehold inter terrace uh, around the D16 zone. You'll be looking at probably an installment range of close to $7,000 per month. Assuming that you are right now probably 35 years old, you take a 30 year loan tenure. So if you buy something at say $1.98 million like this one, your mortgage will be at about $5,000 odd dollars per month. And of course, if you want to keep it at about $1.8 million range for a condominium apartment, uh, that will bring your mortgage to about $4,000 over dollars per month. So I think if you're somebody that wants to have that size and you want to pay like a build up per square foot of $582 per square foot for this size, you want to have that five bedrooms with potential to go up to a six bedder right here for this inter terrace. And you want to have a land of your own. Then I think this will be one of the choices that you can consider within your search radar. So let's have a look at the level one hall and dining space first. Alright, so by default, you get this extremely high ceiling at the living room area. So this is like 6.28 meters all the way to that ceiling over here that you can see. That of course gives you an opportunity to put in your own version of a nice drop down light or chandelier right here. Windows are perfect because of this extremely high ceiling, you get this beautiful black frame windows right here. That stretches all the way to the top and of course the blinds are already done. Hall size is fantastic. Uh, all the way from the hall to the step way to the dining space, you get this nice, beautiful, marble-like kind of towel over here that you can varnish and repolish over the years. And of course, this is superbly well kept. Second owner condition. Owners bought this about 11 years back. They have done renovation and touch up over the years. Even the like ACs were changed a couple of years back. Waterproofing on the roofs were done like five years ago. But the hall size is something that I think a lot of people will appreciate because you can put in this like gigantic, I don't know, this is like an eight-seater or something there. <gasps> you can just relax at home and enjoy your high ceiling, 6.28 meters. And, and this space here gives you a chance to build your six-bedroom uh, by having the mezzanine version right here. Of course, uh, you can apply through your architect. Uh, and of course, get approval from BCA to do up one more bedroom right here. Put your nice old seam massage chair there. And then of course, your nice TV console space with a huge wall that you can build extremely high. Bookshelf, I can just think of bookshelves right here. So um, nowadays there are a lot of beautiful bookshelf design that you can actually pump along this wall. I think even here you can build uh, some carpentry work to make this uh, under stacky storage space. And of course you already have a utility room right at the back. And coming to your dining space, this is another huge space that you have a nice L wall. In the event you want to bring down this wall, that's possible, but of course you might have to relocate your aircon. I would suggest that you keep this layout right here because you already have two kitchens at the back. One is your main kitchen, one is your secondary kitchen for very heavy cooking. Powder room is located right here. And of course, you will come to the kitchen, you have this nice U-shaped kitchen right here with a dual sink, huge space for your fridge. Nowadays with technology, you can re-laminate your top and bottom cabinet tree. You can also even re-spray your kitchen top as well. I mean, this is really solid kitchen top all the way that you can maintain it. You don't have to like hack down everything because the wood and everything is still very solid in terms of kitchen cabinetry. Probably you might need to change the cooker hood and hob, pump in an oven right at the bottom and do some carpentry refurbishing. I mean, we have done some interviews before and then of course the St. Nicholas house that we have just sold recently, the corner terrace that is also 99 years in nature. We have talked about some of the vendors that can actually respray um, the kitchen wood cabinetry for the top and bottom to make it a new look as well as your countertop as well. And of course, there's another dry kitchen space here that you can do extremely heavy cooking. The stove and the sink is right here. And this is the backyard space that we're talking about with two beautiful trees in the back. So this belongs to a three-storey landed plot cluster. And of course, you're right beside other plots with a two-storey mixed landed version as well. So it's a pretty huge enclave right here at Talamera Zoning. Why people love to live in a larger enclave is because of the fact that there are very healthy transactions that are ongoing along the years. And healthy transactions are of course one of the key pivotal reasons why valuations can uh, progressively head upwards. For landed property, this is an asset class that gradually appreciates along the years as you live here with your family. There's a level of certainty that uh, your property is appreciating. Let's have a look at two of the bedrooms on level 2. On level 2, you have two bedrooms towards the back of the house. At the center zone of the house, you have this 
nice family area over here. Towards the front of the house, you have this additional family area over here as well. Now, this is the part that I think you can actually level up uh, with approval from BCA and of course your architect. And this entire zone can be divided into a smaller family zone plus additionally one bedroom as well. If you don't want to spend the extra cost of applying um, for approval to level up this portion, what you can do is to build a glass window over here across this entire S-shaped structure towards that side as well and of course towards this portion also. This by itself in default is already a very sizable bedroom size because you have two huge panel windows right here overlooking towards the south side fronting of the home and um, you can put in like a nice queen bed, wardrobe, with study table. These two bedrooms are like a Jack and Jill version sharing of the ensuite bath. So two of the bedrooms share one bathroom. Coming at level two, you then get to see what we meant by the fact that behind is not actually blocked by another back of the other row of houses. And because of the fact that you are on an elevated land, you get this very nice ventilation breeze through the front and back of the house itself. We love the fact that there's this sunken design for the existing four panel wardrobe space and of course there's a nice huge baby cot right here. There's a top up of a wardrobe space right at the narrow corner of the room itself as well. The other bedroom is actually used now as the storage space so we shall not visit that room. Let's head upstairs. So these two rooms similarly it fronts the back of the house and uh, room size is pretty similar to what you see on level 2. Nice unblocked view at the back. I think this zone is very suitable as a study space uh, just like what you have done right here and the Jack and Jill bathroom leading on to the other side. And of course two bedrooms all have this sunken portion beside the door area. So I think it's really beautiful because it doesn't eat into your space. And uh, of course the moment you head upstairs, instantly the flooring changes into solid parquet timber and this is a very nice long lasting wood. You can still see a shine on them because the house has been so nicely maintained over the years. I think if you were to buy this property, the key thing for you to do will be basically some of the carpentry work that you might want to re-modify. But the rest of the structure, the flooring, these are all very well maintained over the years, even like the coat of paint, it looks new as well. So let's go on to some key facts for the house. So here are some key facts about this house at Q Drive and of course some interesting facts of what is happening around this area in terms of prices. So again, to get a freehold landed property right here, the ongoing starting price is already at $3 million for inter-terrace that is older in nature. And if you want a brand new one, that's already going at about $3.6 to $4 million. And so the four to five bedroom resale condo apartment properties right here are already going at about $2 million. The new launches are going at about $2.3 million for a four to five beta. And of course, this is the only one of the inter-terraces along this five inter-terrace row right here that allows you to park two cars. Now, the land plot width is 6.2 meters and the land plot depth is at 26 meters. Front of the gate faces south, back of the house faces north and apart from the five bedrooms, you can of course build up a six bedroom. And in the event, if you want to build up an attic level, you can still do that for a mezzanine level right on top for an additional seven bedroom. Talking about the east area, the favorite shopping belt here will be Bedok Mall, Jewel at Changi, and of course, by traveling along ECP PIE, that is a breeze right here because the ECP exit is very near to the Q Drive estate. Looking at the Thompson East Coast line, this is going to be one of the most favorable MRT lines that brings you straight on to Orchard once it's completed, hopefully by year 2024. And of course, your master room default position is at the third level that's facing the front of this house. You have one of the largest room with a sinking portion over at this direction that you can use actually as a dressing table area or maybe your study room area. So you can put up to a king bed, wardrobe space is really right tucked at the corner and you have this ensuite bathroom right here. Level 3 of course, you can hear the echo because uh, of the fact that the attic is like super high. So this is the portion that we we're talking about. You can actually pump up spiral staircase that goes up to your attic zone or maybe just as a room for an entertainment zone that a family would like to have or maybe just as a room for storage. So there's a lot of possibilities right here that you can modify in this house itself and I think there's still a lot of potential to go.
All right, so we're coming to the end of today's home tour at Q Drive. So once again, if you're looking for a quantum that's below two million dollars and you're going for size, the amount of bedrooms and build-out area that you have right here in this inter terrace. Do give a call to our listings manager at the link right down below. And once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, we're happy to show the place. Hey. Okay, this car needs to move first. Quick, come on. Oh, wow. He, he, heard, he, heard, he heard it. Oh. If you have a living helper at home, then use the bottom space that uh, Jolene is standing right now. Um, have a look at her. Yeah, so use this space um, as the... The what is that? <laughs> Bobby, how do you feel? Hmm? How do you feel? I prefer post production. <laughs>